What do you do when your team scores a goal? Hooah! Woo! <laughs> Hi, I'm Rachel with Lululemon and I'm here with Olympian and pro soccer player Stephanie LeBay, who's literally been putting in the extra sweat to elevate women in sport. We're gonna run through some basic circuit training and some soccer skills, which your girl needs, let's be honest. You ready to get sweaty? Let's do it. All right. There you go. Thank you. Okay. you can take your right leg and fold it over and oh, then yeah. just roll onto your right hip. So can you tell us a bit about you? Tell me a bit about like, who is Steph LeBay? Steph LeBay is a professional soccer player, a yogi, a dog mom, and an overall just like lover of the adventure of life. And a beacon for women in sport. You can't forget that part, Steph, come on. Can you talk a bit about what you feel are some of the biggest hurdles in women's sport? It's tough for female athletes to live the lifestyle that professional athletes need to do, you know, with the amount of travel that we do and the commitment with trainings and games, um, but then also have the money to be able to afford to live and to get appropriate nutrition, to surround yourself with professionals who can help you train. Yeah. Let's switch sides. Okay. So switch mats. Thinking about that, it brings me to marketing, visibility, sponsorship, which is just not the same. How do you think that that would impact women's sport if we had the same sort of advantages? The more that we're invested in, the more that there's the visibility the more it's just gonna grow the whole culture of it. Yeah, totally. I mean, I want a jersey. I want your jersey. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, get, we'll get one after. <laughs> Me. There you go. Okay, I'm feeling super warm. I'm ready to get into some heavy duty stuff. What, what you got for me? This is a good one. Yeah. So, can you recall any of the most like ridiculous or frustrating things that have happened to you because you were a woman in sport? Tried out for a men's soccer team here in Canada and the coach um, was super open to it, said that he would judge me on my ability and not my gender and ended up getting offered a contract. I made the team and the league unfortunately said, no, you can't play because you're a woman. What? Yeah. That's it was, wild. Yeah, it was quite an experience and a really tough one to handle. I can relate. You know, I made my uh, high school boys baseball team, I'm not gonna lie. That's amazing. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Like, what position were you? I played first base. Nice. And I batted second in the order. Wow. It's a pretty big deal. Definitely. Being in the States and playing for like my, my senior men's team. Yeah. And uh, I played two games and then the coach pulled me aside and was like, the guys, you know, feel uncomfortable. They, they're embarrassed to have a girl on their team. And I couldn't play anymore. Something about when something's taken away for you, for something that's completely out of your control, it's really tough to, to deal with. It's a little oh no, touchy. Oh no, I hit the cone! <laughs> Deduct two points. Is that how this game works? Oh, so fast. All right. Okay, okay. Now we take a little break. <laughs> so you're such a great example of somebody who is really dominating in a male-dominated sport. So what ignites that fire in you? When I was young, I didn't have those female role models, so I want to use the platform to, to be that for those young girls and speak up for everyone that can't. Yeah. And do you think that outside of soccer, this affects other women in sport? For sure, I think it affects women all over the world, so not only in sport, but in the business world. The issues, what we're fighting for, is all the same. So let's you get this goal. You saw my soccer skills already, so. <laughs> Are you sure? Oh, oh, I'm, oh, I'm positive. Oh, we're going all the way. Okay, we're going here. all in. Okay. So when you catch it, yeah. So you want your hands to kind of form around the ball. Woo! Whoa! <laughs> there wow. you go. Oh my yes. gosh, this is terrifying. So for people who are also passionate about gender equality and want to get in and help, how do you think they can get involved? Look up and see where your local team is, if there's a local professional team, look it up, go buy tickets, get your butt in the stands. Just doing your little part, every little action counts. It's all of us doing it together can really <gasps> make an impact. Oh my gosh! <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! Thank you so much. Yes, of course. This is so fun. Of course. I feel like a Thanks pro. For joining me today. Call your coach, tell me about yes. a ringer. Oh, oh yeah, you got pole dance. Wait. <laughs> 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 <laughs>